Hi there, welcome to Crafty Shenanigans. I'm Shannon Smith and I am so excited to talk to you today about your Cricut. How many of you out there have a Cricut that's sitting in its box that you have not touched because you're afraid, because you don't know quite how to get the te technology on it going? I know that I had a Cricut Explorer that just sat and sat and sat until I finally gave it away because I just didn't really have the time and was kind of intimidated by it. And so I never really used it, but I do, I've since had a Cricut Explore Air 2 and I actually just, uh, I just purchased a second one so that I could show you from the beginning the different basics. We're going to start from the unboxing. I'll show you what's inside, what comes with your Cricut. And then we're just going to take it a step at a time, one thing at a time, so that you can get comfortable with your machine and you can get the use of it, get your money's worth, get everything that you can get creatively out of your machine. So I'll be learning right along with you because there's so many things I haven't even investigated in the Cricut. So let's just do this together. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, hopefully you can see everything that is in the box. I'll try to move things around as I need to, but we're just going to go ahead and try this out here. Okay, so here it is, my Cricut Explore Air 2. Um, I don't know if you can see really well, but we're going to go ahead and go for it. All right, so the first thing right off the bat that I see is my mat. This is really important. If you haven't ever used a Cricut, I'm telling you, we're going to start from scratch. So this is necessary. This one's light grip. Um, it comes in light grip and then there's um, a standard grip and then there's one that's for heavier duty things. There's a per the there's the blue one like this one and then there's a green one that's the medium grip and then there's a purple one and that one holds on to more of your heavy duty things. So Yay, it comes with the light grip, and I would say this one's the one that, if you're a paper crafter, you're probably going to use this one the most. So we will set that aside. And now you can see, let's see if I can do this. All right, we're gonna, I've got my first layer of stuff off. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open this all the way. You can see this is where our blades are and then this will be for tools and markers and various things that you can put with your Cricut, different accessories. And um, we'll go ahead and take that off and we're going to make sure it closes because mine was open. Yes, mine does. So let me get these out of the way. And I do have a spot reserved for it at the end of my table. Okay, so we've got our mat, we've got our machine. And then also inside, we've got our um, power cord. This one's gonna go from my Cricut to my computer. And then it looks like it comes with a marker, which is nice. So you'll be able to try that function out. And I think that that is it inside this box. This ginormous box we can get rid of. Inside your box, you will get something that says, let's get started. Okay, it's got steps right there. Number one. Plug in and power on your fabulous new Cricut machine. Number two, get connected. Just go to Cricut.com setup. We'll walk you through every step. We will be recording this when we do it. Make a little something. During setup, we'll make a practice project with materials in the box. Fun. And then it says uh, to go ahead and bookmark Cricut.com because that's where you will find every resource you need to master your new machine. All right, so they make that easy enough. Let's see what else there is. Okay. All right, so this is a little manual. Let's see what it's got in here. 
says ready to get started. It's got a table of contents and it's got a welcome. It tells you what should be in your box. Um, kind of gives you the basics of what you're making. Talks about design space, talks about the library, projects, tools, mats, and quick reference. So I'm just go quickly going through what should be in the box. Everything's there. And this is kind of cool. It's got kind of a diagram of the different functions, the different uh, features on your machine. This is kind of fun. Let's see. I'll, I'll bring my machine back in a second and show you some of the fun, fun things that it's got. And then design space is one of the most important things you're going to want to get to utilize. It's, and I honestly, I recommend at this point, Cricut has been out a long time. You're going to want to start with the Cricut Explorer Air 2, I think. I think you, um, unless you're cutting out with a lot of really more heavy duty materials, Cricut Explorer Air 2 is a good place to start for paper crafter, at least. Um, this kind of talks about different things you can do. Um... I'm just quickly going through this. Wasn't completely sure what was going to be in my box. Okay. So then it's got all these different projects. It's going to talk about each of the tools that you can use with your machine. Now this machine didn't come with a toolkit, so that's something that you will likely want to purchase. I will show you some of the tools I have um, that I had purchased previously. This, you know, these are in the toolkit. There's some scissors, but I mean, I don't know that you have to have Cricut scissors. I don't know that they're any different than anybody else's, but you do want, you're going to want your spatula. You're going to want your scraper tool. Um, these are some tweezers that come with it. And let me see. This is your weeding tool. This is important. You're going to want that. And. What else am I missing? Oh, and this is important too. This one is your stylus, and that's going to help you for scoring. So those are those are the basic tools I think that you will find in a toolkit. And you can buy those at Cricut.com. <clears throat> you can probably buy them on Amazon. You can probably buy them at any craft store. But those are some things you're definitely going to want. And then this is just showing the pen. We do have one that's included with the machine, but you can get it in fancy colors. You can get some metallics. You can do fun things with that. And that's something I need to explore more is the um, writing function. So I will be doing that. And I actually didn't even realize this. I'm looking at the mats and I'm seeing light grip, standard grip, strong grip. And then I didn't even realize that they had one that was called fabric grip. And that one is pink. So good to know. That's another area that I haven't really ventured into that I'm definitely interested in and want to do more of. And so then it's got some quick reference here for changing your blades, inserting the pen, um, preparing and loading your mat, removing paper or cardstock from the mat, and how to do that with that with and avoid curling of your paper. And just more of the quick reference here in the back. So that is what that booklet's all about. It also has a warranty here. You're definitely going to want to take advantage of that. I don't know all the specifics or I would go over that. Like I said, I didn't know for sure what did come in the box. It's been too long since I had bought my other one. Okay, so there's a one year limited warranty. So that is good to know. And then these right here are the materials that they included for um, the project that we're going to walk through. And that will be the next thing that I do. But I think I might even just break this into shorter videos and do a couple. So um, we'll walk through this in the next video. Okay, so now you know what comes in your box and you can get familiar with those items and you know that you've got that booklet. If you're still a little nervous, go ahead and read your booklet, get some information there. But we are going, my next video, which will be coming out right close to this one, is going to just show you I'm just going to walk through the project that is included with your Cricut just 
to get you started, just to be there with you. We'll walk through it together and we will learn some more together. Thank you for watching Crafty Shenanigans and I hope that you will continue to join me on this journey to learn more about the Cricut and that you'll watch some of my other fun things that I do on this channel. And if you like it, go ahead and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much.